Good evening, friends. Dick Riculus here, reporting live for WBIGD TV. Today we're going to talk about another product. We're going to have Big D test. Prove if it's true, if it's false, if it's right, if it's wrong, if the manufacturer's leading you down a path of destruction, if they're just plain out lying to you, lying to you, lying to you. We are here and we're going to report it, because that's what we do. Dick Riculus here, WBIGD TV. Over the past couple of years, I've tested several of these Blaupunk amplifiers, mainly because they were available at a very cheap price and they claimed very high wattage, which we've proven against that. Baseheads on a budget on Facebook though, found out about this 4,000 watt model that was available on Walmart for a really cheap price. Yes, for $50, $49.80. If you find it at the right time, you can get it at that price, but it fluctuates. Typically the amplifier costs more. Hi-Fi Vega and I both found this amp at the same time. So we're doing a collaboration. Make sure you check a link in the video description for his video. But typically this amp costs around $130 uh, on Walmart and on Amazon. It's a little less, but you know how Amazon fluctuates right now. It's 112. By the time you look at it, who knows what the price will be. But this amp is one of a dozen or so that are available on the Blaupunk website. You can check the link in the video description to see those amps. But again, I've tested most of them. This one is the Amp 4000D and it has zero specs on their website, so they need to update it. Let's get into the box here and find out what's inside. First thing that's suspect is they offer you a free car charger and USB cable for you leaving a positive review. Yeah, that's nice. And then you have the instruction manual. Now this is a very, very basic instruction manual. It covers several different models and including the 4000D and 5000D but it doesn't go into any real detail. As far as the amp goes, 1000 watts RMS at four ohms, 2000 RMS at two ohms, 2800 at one ohm, which uh, yeah, we have a hard time believing that. Other specs there, including 50 amp times three fuses and 96 dB signal to noise ratio. Let's get out the Cutco knife here, made in the USA, New York for the win, and check this out. Take it out of the package here. And there you go, it's just a typical Blaupunk amplifier. It comes with the telephone style bass remote. At least it does have the telephone style so it won't pull out. That's kind of nice. And the bass remote itself has a power LED and it has a potentiometer and it's metal, but it's not a very smooth potentiometer and it doesn't have a clip light, some other things that we'd like to see. But again, it's 50 bucks, man. If you get lucky, you can't even get a bass remote from some companies for that. Here's the outside of the amp. Again, it looks kind of generic. On one end, we have power protect LEDs. We have two RCA inputs. There's no outputs. Gain control just says minimum to maximum. Bass boost is zero to 18 dB, but it does not tell us what that frequency is. We have a phase zero to 180. Low pass filter from 250 down to 50 Hertz. And also the bass remote slot there for connecting your bass remote cable to the remote base. On the opposite side, We've got interesting here. We've got <laughs> speaker outruts. <laughs> what is a speaker outrut? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe they got Scooby-Doo to help out with this and they said, please translate output. He says, Roke, it's outrut. I mean, I don't know. You big dummy. Also, <laughs> there's three 50 amp fuses. I didn't know ATC fuses went up to 50 amp, but apparently they do. And then we have four gauge for power and input for power and ground. Now notice the speaker outputs are also four gauge, which is very odd, but we'll take it when we get it. As far as dimensions, length 12.5 inches, width 7.4 inches, and height 2.2 inches. On the amplifier box, it does say 4,000 watt class D amplifier. And up close, it says 4,000 watts max, 2,800 times one at one ohm or two ohm stable. Oh boy. Let's get into the big dummy math because I know you guys are going to say it, right? There's 50 amp fuses times three. That's 150 amps. If we do the math with 14.4 volts and then do the efficiency, we get 1,728 watts. Now that's assuming everything is good here. As far as the amp dyno settings, we have the gain match to the head unit with 9 dB overlap. We have the crossover set to the maximum position. We also have the base boost set to the minimum position to not impact the test at all. And we have the phase in this case set to minimum. So let's hook it up and try it out. 
Now let's fire up the good old SMD Demore Engineering Amplifier Dyno to do our RMS power output testing of this amplifier. Before we do that, make sure you check the video description for links to Wilson Audio merch. Smash me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this content. More like it coming all the time. Now let's talk about the Dyno test. There's three different tests, certified, uncertified, and dynamic. Certified test takes us up to 1% THD. Uncertified takes us up to the clipping point, And dynamic is a dynamic tone mimicking IHF 202 standard. First up, let's try the 4 ohm test. The amp's rated 1000 watts RMS. Let's try it out. 40 hertz test tone, here we go. And nowhere close, 409 watts. Yep play the sad music because we didn't get anywhere near that 1000 watts let's try it uncertified up to the clipping point and not a whole lot more 427 watts 13.95 then we'll try the dynamic burst test and 435 watts 14.05 now as far as efficiency goes we measured 84 percent at four ohms that's okay, it's not great, but it's not too bad at four ohms. Two ohms, the amp is rated 2,000 watts RMS. Yeah, let's try certified test first. 1% THD, 600, nope, yep, 615 at 14.09. All we can do is smack our head and wonder who is in the marketing department at Blau Pump because they, uh, they printed the boxes wrong or something. Maybe, maybe there's some uh, lack of communication going on there between the engineers and, and the people who are printing the boxes. Uncertified, 745 watts, 13.7 volts. Dynamic test sending the pulse tone into the amp, 763. Nope, bumped up there at the end, 770 at 13.93. Efficiency at two ohms drops to 62%. That's like class AB efficiency. That's not real good at all. One ohm mono rated 2,800 watts in your wildest dreams. What can we get here? Notice the amp does not count up cleanly. So it just jumps all around. It finally ends up at 874. And yeah, Blau Punk smacking the consumer with the lies on the box. Let's, uh, let's try it uncertified now just to find out what we get with this test and i know we've seen other people run this uncertified test with this amp so we should get about the same uh, we got uh, almost 1200 watts 1192 that's uh, well shy of the 2800 rms that it's rated of course dynamically over 1200 1261 it jumped up again 1272 I think that's where we're going to end. 1277, 13.82. Again, efficiency 63%, not good for a Class D amplifier. So although it didn't do its rated power, what about the cost per watt? We measured four cents per watt. That is literally the cheapest I've ever seen for an amplifier. And uh, But you do want to stick around to the end though and see why this still may be a problem. Let's find out now. Do it bump do. We got the Blau Punk 4K. 4K, yeah, 4,000 watt, right. $50 amp off of Walmart, hooked up to the 412s in this really cool box. So let's try the woofer test and see what kind of bass we can get. You ready? Here we go. After the dyno test and bumping the amp probably for a good 45 minutes or so, I was really impressed with how cool the internals of the amp were. I didn't see any 
temperatures here over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's really good for an amplifier. Now let's find out what's inside. I know I'm showing the thermal here, but let's take a closer look inside the amp. Take off the eight screws. There's three on either side uh, plus two on the opposing ends. And we'll pull the bottom plate off. And there was something rattling in the amp when I got it, so I had to take that out. I wanted to show the macro capability of the iPhone 13. That's pretty cool. Um, that was a dime, by the way. So the internals here, typical inexpensive class D, 2200 microfarad, 80 volt rail caps here, and 2200 microfarad, 25 volt for the filtering caps for the power supply section. Of course, we have the pulse width modulated power supply here on a daughter board. As far as the good stuff, it's cheaper than a tank of gas. Includes a base remote, 24 dB per octave crossover is what it says. Not sure if that's true or not. It does have built-in fusing for those Team No Fuse people. And it was banging those 12s, no doubt, for 50 bucks. It's hard to beat. Could be better. It only has a single speaker output. Low efficiency for a Class D. It has these cheesy plastic end caps. No subsonic filter possible EMI issues stick around to the very end you'll see what we're talking about about that and it's also hard to find for 50 bucks again make sure you look in the video description for Hi-Fi Vegas video he does more real world testing with this amp I did a little bit higher voltage but overall this was a fun test super cheap amp if you can find it for 50 bucks and you can deal with the EMI issues that I'm going to show at the very end of the video then hey I'd say go for it I would just be wary it may cause some freaky problems with your car's electronics if it's sending out EMI. You may get signals from outer space. You may find more government conspiracies. You may even find the meaning of life. But anyway, those who want to see more footage, make sure you're subscribed at patreon.com slash oldschoolstereo. Have some additional footage. Till next time, Big D, I'm out of here. Now we have the Blau Pump 4K, quote unquote, hooked up to the lithium LTO bank. Gonna stay pretty solid right around 15 volts here. Uh, figured just for fun, we'll see what it does. Let's try certified at one ohm, 1% 1 THD, 40 Hertz. All right, looks like it topped out at 967. All right, now we'll try uncertified up to clipping. Again, one ohm. We have higher voltage going in from the lithium LTO bank. All right, 12.95, but we got some weird characters going on here. 89 and 11, I don't know what's up with that. Probably related to the same thing that Rob was seeing with his test where he was seeing some really weird voltage spikes with the um, with this amplifier, which is probably the built-in, the power supply, switching power supply causing problems. Very odd. Let's go back and try the dynamic test. Dynamic test, one ohm, higher voltage. <laughs> It's Yenemic. I don't know. I have to ask Tony what's going on. I think it's probably related to those weird voltage oscillations from this amplifier. Well, man, that kind of sucks because I was thinking for the price, this is a really good deal for the budget base head. But if it's going to you know, do weird things to your electrical system, I would not even try to recommend this. So, dang. <laughs> Pretty intense.